Hi, Water Signs. Welcome to your bonus reading uh, for December. And this bonus reading is going to be what is coming in for you in 2020. So welcome. My name is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So we're going to look here. Uh, this is a new series. So I figured uh, the first one will be about what is coming in since we're going into the new year for 2020. So this is a new element bonus reading I want to do every month. So please leave me um, a comment down below in the comment section of what kind of bonus readings you would like to see. I already do uh, love readings. I do single readings. I do general readings. I do spirit guide messages. So something different. So I could do pick a card. I could do any kind of love reading. I could do past life reading. I could do um, angel reading. I could do what do you need healing? What do you need to change? I could do anything. So any kind of topics you would like me to see, uh, like to see me do a reading on or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. I'll look at all your comments and I probably will be picking those to do future uh, element bonus readings for you guys monthly. So, okay. I look forward to hearing your comments, what you would like to see. I wanted, I want to do what you want to see for your element bonus reading. So, all right. So let's see what's coming in for 2020 for the water signs spirit please what is coming in 2020 for the water signs welcome cancer scorpio and pisces hope everybody's doing well happy new year merry early merry christmas happy december i guess that one is meant for you i'm going to pull um a couple from each deck and then we'll clarify more with tarot so I'm just going to take the energies as they come. It could be about anything here. If you would like to see the next reading be like solely on love, like what may be coming in for you in love next year, um, I could do that. So again, leave me comments what you would like to see. And uh, we'll do element bonus readings. So like I said, I already do uh, love connection reading, singles who's coming towards you, sort of like a general tarot forecast. Sometimes those are about love, sometimes not. And I do spirit guide messages, which those I've just all put out now. So if you're new, you can go check out my channel. And if you like what you see, uh, please do subscribe, like, share, comment, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified. You won't miss out if you do. Thank you so much. So let's see what we have here for the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces coming in for 2020. Spirit, please. We have a couple cards for the water signs. What's coming in 2020 for them. Thank you so much. One more. One more. Don't want to miss one. Okay. And I'm going to clarify with tarot. So all the decks are listed below. Also in the description box, there's tons of stuff in the description box. If, um, you want to know what decks I'm using, if you want to reach out for personal reading, uh, social media links. I do separate readings on Instagram also. I have a Facebook uh, page, Leo Sunlight Insight, so feel free to check all that out. All right, let's get a couple of these for water. What's coming in for water? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for 2020. One more. One more for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for 2020. All right. Let's see what's going on for you in 2020, Water Signs. And these may not resonate for every single person. So take the messages how they resonate for you. All right. So we have here Magician in the Mirror. So this is about manifesting new things in your life. And we have five to three, which is eight, which is about taking action, movement, travel. So uh, some of you may be manifesting some new uh, beginnings here coming up in the new year, whatever that may be for you. We'll clarify with tarot. And we have Angel and angel of Strength. This card always reminds me of Leo, but it doesn't have to be. But this does remind me of courage, strength, bravery, persevering on, having that inner willpower, determination um, kind of energy. And 55 is all about change. So taking action to change, that's what I feel like you're doing in the next year, taking action to make change in your life and having that strength, that courageous energy, that bravery, that stamina, that endurance to persevere on and the willpower to do so. And you see more fiery energy there with that card 
and this does remind me of fire energy. Some of you may have fire in your chart. All right, so let's see what these are. So we have Jade, wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. So some of you, I feel like, will be uh, much more healthier spiritually, mentally, physically coming up in the next year. And always could be, you know, everything's going good in your career. Finances are good. Uh, wellness day, the green is all about that heart chakra. Like your heart is healed. You're feeling good. You're, you, you know, you're more compassionate, loving kind of energy. The green there is also for prosperity and abundance. So I feel like things will be going well for you in all areas next year. We have lap, Lapis Lazuzzi, <laughs> life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. And I just got this in your spirit messages uh, for December, that spirit is supporting you through a lot of changes that you're going through right now. So I feel like some of you have gone through this big transitional period in the year of 2019, you know, career, work, finance, relationships, you know, physically, emotionally, uh, in all ways. And now it's like you've learned all your lessons, you've done all that healing work. Um, and now you're moving forward in a much better place, being more strong, more confident and manifesting new things for yourself, being more stable, being more loving, caring, compassionate and life changing, uh, epiphany or experience. You know, this reminds me of the Ace of Swords where it's like, you're having this big truth, clarity, again, realization, like how strong and brave you really are, like really being in your power. Also with the sword, you can cut away things no longer serving you. Um, and I feel like maybe this year you have been doing that now going into 2020, it's like, okay, all those energies that toxic energy or just things that were no longer serving me have been cut away. I'm standing in my truth and my clarity. I'm telling it like it is. I'm not taking any BS, um, open, honest, truthful communication from here on in. And I, I'm, I'm just like, just like, I'm surprised if we don't get the emperor and the empress here. You can be male or female watching this. It doesn't matter. But it's like really being in your power coming into the next year. Wow. Let's see. And the purple there to me is all, always about manifesting. And it's very spiritual energy. As we have magician in the mirror, manifesting things for yourself. Realize it's like now I realize I do have the power to make change in my life. To make you know, the healing choices in my life that I can heal myself. I can overcome obstacles and be in a, you know, much better place here. So as some of you have been having ailments, I see you being well next year or whatever year that was going on in your life in 2019, everything is, will be good next year here. So let's see what these are. So we have destiny here. So we have the wheel of fortune. So this is divinely guided energy uh, for you. This is divine timing. This is fate, fortune, destiny, things going in a better direction, things going in the right way. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is always things that are meant to happen or meant to be in your life. So whatever obstacles, challenges, changes that you went through this year or coming up to the end of this year, if it was the last couple of years or whatever here, it was all destiny. It was fate. It was something meant to be. So you could learn who you truly are and stand in your power. And we have stand your ground. Wow. So this is a seven of wands energy. And this is being, it can be a little defensive energy or it could be you just be standing your ground, you know, being who you truly are, you know, not settling for less here. And I feel like with this, you know, ace of swords energy, like I had just said, really standing your ground, moving forward in 2020. And being like totally in your power and not backing down. Wow. It's like you really, now you really can stand up for yourself. You can really, you know, move forward and how you need to move forward. As with the 53 here, eight, which is all about action, movement, travel, five changes. 10 can be about completion. So like I said, you know, with the destiny here, 10, you know, maybe completed some sort of cycles completed for you. But seven is a very divinely spiritual guided number. And you're standing your ground. It's like, you know, it's like, you just know going into the next year. Wow. It's like really, really being in your power. And oh, would not be surprised if we get the emperor or the empress 
And I just had four cards fall on the uh, floor here. I'm not going to take them, but I just want to show you. Um, we have strength reappearing, the two of pentacles, the sun, and judgment. So yeah, making a final decision here to your total happiness and joy. You know, you've been through a lot of juggling in your life, but now you have the strength, courage, determination now coming in 2020. Wow. Okay. So let's see here. That was a big clump. My card's upside down. No, I think I just saw some reversals. I don't usually do reversals, but I'm not going to go through the deck. So they're probably meant to be in there. I only do reversals if they fall out and I pick them up and they're reversed or something like that. You know, spirit tells me when they need to be reversed. So I don't purposely put reversals in my deck. I just feel like by doing that, you're asking for a negative reading, you know, so I just, it's like intentionally putting negative energy in your deck. That's how spirit tells me. That's how I read. Every reader is different. Every reader may, you know, reader may say, okay, spirit tells me I need to put reversals in every time I do a reading. And that's what they do. My spirit guides tell me not to put reversals. And if it needs to be reversed, it'll fly out or come out when I pick it up reversed. And so, all right, that's how I read. So, ah. all right, another clump falling on the floor. <sighs> These two fell upright, so I think I'll take those. All right, so let's clarify Angel of Strength and Magician in the Mirror. So we have, see, this is upside down, the Four of Pentacles. So this is an energy of holding back. When it's upright, it's an energy of holding on, holding back, not giving to others, but it's reversed. So now it's like you're ready to not hold back anymore. See how that just fits in here? So it's meant to be reversed. So the Four of Pentacles are reversed. It's like I'm not holding back anymore. I'm not... Um, you know, it's energy of not giving to others either, but I feel like it's an energy of like, I'm ready to manifest now. I'm not holding back anymore. I'm ready to move forward. I found my inner strength um, and perseverance, and I'm just going to go for it. And then we have death here. So, yes, yeah, some of you, like I said, maybe gone through something in 2019. Things may have ended for you, whether it was a career, job, relationship, uh, something here, ending of old habits, old ways addictions, obsession, whatever here, ending that energy. And now we have the Wheel of Fortune reappearing again as we had it over here. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing, and things going in a better direction. So by not holding back anymore, being in your power, you know, and moving forward, ending of old ways, whatever they are for you, bad habits or whatever here, toxic energy or whatever here, and it's moving you forward in a better direction with the wheel of fortune you know something divinely guided for you fate destiny timing all right so what else here for the water signs for the water signs so we have the page of cups so that's your energy that's the water energy cancer scorpio pisces so this is um communication it can be apologies it can be you know just loving compassionate peaceful conversations you know with others as you move forward you know maybe apologizing for things of you know things that coming to an end maybe apologizing for behaviors uh could be people apologizing to you being in a more loving compassionate peaceful uh communicative energy with those around you all right and we have the page of wands again more communication here so a lot of communication and now the page of wands is that fiery, passionate communication, like being fired up and ready to communicate now. Hey, I'm sorry, you know, or whatever here, you know, and just being in that very excited, fiery, passionate energy and commute. It's like you're communicating everything here moving forward. It's like you're not holding back anymore. It's like you're just full of communication here. All right. What else? What else? Six of Swords. So, yeah, going in a much better direction. Six of Swords. Moving forward in a better direction. You know, a very peaceful, harmonious, balanced direction um, to a better place. Yeah, moving forward to a better place. And a lot of communication on this. Coming from a loving, passionate, caring, giving, peaceful, fiery, excited kind of energy. And excited to be, to be moving forward. The, you know, wheel here moves you forward. It's like not holding back anymore. Wow. Okay. 
this chair drives me nuts. <laughs> I got an office chair here and it just goes, just, I need a new one. <laughs> I've had it probably 15 years. So I'll be sitting here all of a sudden on its own. I just go all the way down and I'm like, what the heck? So anyway, <laughs> so if you hear my chair go, it's just, I need a new chair. Okay. All right. So let's see what wellness and life changing epiphany and sorry about my bracelet here it keeps tapping on the what's coming in for the water signs king of wands there's that fiery passion energy really standing your ground being it, as with the leo energy there doesn't have to be fire sign but the you know that energy of the king queen wands doesn't matter that go-getter ambitious a lot of drive ambition uh go-getter kind of energy it's going after it now it's just going after it now and things going well for you. It's like, you know, I know I have the power to do this now with that life-changing epiphany or experience. And you're just going after it, I feel, next year. Seven of Swords. So this could be, um, Seven of Swords always reminds me of like sneaky energy, something you can't trust. You know, it can be like people stealing from you, uh, like a not a good energy around you. I don't know why that's here. So let's see. Why is that here? Or, you know, you could be moving on from that kind of energy also. And maybe that's that life um, epiphany and experience. You know, maybe you had an experience with somebody around you that was very deceitful, dishonest. Uh, you don't trust them anymore. Now you're standing your ground with the king of wands, like putting up that guard, like the stand your ground. Uh, this person, you know, using that big sword there to cut that energy out. King of Cups. So again, that's your energy. Uh, Leo, um, Leo, yeah. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So being in a loving, compassionate, caring, giving, nurturing kind of energy, intuitive kind of energy. So we got two kings here. King or queen doesn't matter. We got the fiery, passionate wands. We got the um, emotional, uh, intuitive, caring, nurturing, giving, loving cups. So, you know, you may have really cared for this person for you know somebody around you could be a friend family member co-worker a lover whatever here i feel it's like somebody um did something maybe in this past year really big because we got that big thing here and you had to cut this person out as much as you maybe loved them or whatever here you finally got that fiery passionate energy within you to cut that energy out with the seven of swords energy and I think now you're much more in a healthier space, mind, body, soul, moving forward. Okay, I'll take these. We got four, and I wanted, um, well, you want three more, so I'll take these. So we have the three of wands. So there may have been a period of waiting here, uh, looking out to the distance. You know, and maybe you knew, you, maybe you knew for a long time here, somebody did something to you, maybe I feel over this past year, and maybe you knew it for a long time and you never said anything. It's like you waited, waited, waited for the right time. You know, maybe you had to get proof. Maybe you had, you know, maybe you were waiting for them to confess may, or whatever here or live up to something or whatever. It's like you just waited and waited and waited here. But then I feel like finally you just took up that sword and said no more. Because we've got the two of cups. So, you know, this is about people coming together in unity, peace, love, compassion, Kind of energy it could be a lover it could be anyone friend family it could be spiritual connection being in line with yourself and now we got the hangman uh energy here which yeah i think you had to really i think this is somebody that you you really loved whether it was a friend a family whoever here you really loved and they really did something here that made you step back and say well what just happened here and you had to gain perspective on the whole situation learn all the facts um and just like hang back, you know, take back your energy from the situation, person, place, or thing. And really find out every little detail and gain all the perspective you needed before uh, moving forward. And I feel like, um, you know, you may have cut this person out because of whatever happened here. And now you're in a much, much better place moving forward in 2020. That resonates. Like I said, not every message will resonate. If you feel like this is an energy going on uh, now, then I see you maybe possibly cutting this person out of your life for good. All right. So 
and I think you'll be in a much more much more better heart space, uh, more stable without that energy. All right, so you know, and over here with you know just going for it, you could be going for a new job, you could be moving, moving into a new home, um, that kind of energy, or just you know changing old patterns and habits and things like that and just being much more healthier mind body and soul so what do we have here destiny we got the five of wands so again with conflict this is conflict competition <sighs> under the wheel of fortune so just know that whatever happened over here you could have had a fight big big fight uh with somebody over this past year um argument whatever here but with the Wheel of Fortune, unfortunately, it was something that was meant to happen. So it was either meant to happen to move you finally out of a situation, to move you forward, so you have the power. And maybe you never really stood your ground. You never really told it like it was. You know, maybe you just kind of let people walk all over you. And I feel like now this had to happen for you now to be able to stand in your power, to move forward, moving forward in your power and standing your ground. Because now, yeah, we have the King of Pentacles energy. So yes, yeah, standing in your self-worth, value, your stability, standing strong and tall like a mighty oak tree here. And nothing will uh, sway you. It's like now I'm just, you know, I've had enough of that energy, that fighting, that argument, you know, whatever it was here. And now I'm standing in my value, my worth, and uh, standing firm and tall. And that king or, king or queen doesn't matter, pentacle energy. So let's see what we have here. So we have the Queen of Wands. So now we got the King and Queen of Wands. So again, that fiery, passionate, go-getter um, energy and just being a, full of that fire and passion and just, you know, being determined. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you may be single coming up in 2020 here, but again, stable, secure, and grounded on your own. You have everything you need on your own. You're independent, take care of yourself. You know, your, your finances are good. You know everything just going good for you so some of you may have left a relationship that was uh, no longer serving you there was too many uh, toxic energies bad energies deceitful energies and now you may be going it alone in 2020 just standing your ground here on your own and we have the two of wands so this is making plans decisions for your future moving forward and that fiery passion energy and then we have the Empress. So, and I had said I wouldn't be surprised if we get the Emperor or Empress here. And now here's the Empress. So yeah, being in your energy, and I had felt that, being in your total energy here of the Emperor or Empress doesn't matter. Self, value, worth, determination, pride, um, value, you know, loving, compassionate, nurturing, giving. This gives birth to new things. I think you're giving birth to a whole new way and a whole new life coming in 2020 for you water signs and I see everything just flowing and going great in 2020 as long as you stand, stand firm stand tall stand true to who you are and you don't back down and you keep moving forward and don't let people walk all over you people places things circumstances job career whatever here all right so what else do we have on the bottom of the deck five of cups so you know sor sorrow loss hurt kind of energy so there was some sorrow and you know hurt and lot over maybe some kind of loss here going you know coming out of the year into 2020 if page of swords is that open honest truthful communication definitely i feel like here some are communicating with truth honesty uh watching somebody also and i feel like maybe with the um we have the hanged man and i felt like you were you know gaining perspective on a situation and this could be the page of swords energy it's like kind of just watching, seeing what's going on, getting gaining perspective, and then having truth and clarity in that open communication. Yeah, the Knight of Wands and the Devil. Yeah, I really feel like here moving forward with drive, ambition, and the power to cut out this toxic um, energy, which will lead you to success and victory in the coming year with the Six of Wands energy. So a lot of energies here. I feel like you're moving forward uh, with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion here to cut away anything toxic in your life, whether it's people, places, things, habits, whatever here. And uh, there's that open, truthful uh, communication. So a lot of energies here. 
water signs. So take what resonates for you, how it resonates for you. And if you're new, uh, if you like my energy, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. And like I said, leave your comments below what kind of readings you'd like to see for your bonus readings for the elements. Um, I want to do what you guys want to see. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. I do four different readings a month. I do bonus readings of all kinds, so you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So best of luck to you here, uh, Water Signs, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.